Hi, welcome, welcome, welcome everybody to the largest education festival in the world. 37 days of live celebration, student university webinar, season four, Get Connected. Today is 22nd day of the event. So we are getting closer, 15 days more to go. Roughly two weeks, may not two weeks, I would say more than that. Our last date is on 2nd of October, remember that. Um, so wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, so can you see my presentation? Are you able to see my presentation? Yes, Mustafa, thank you. So, you know, um, we are getting closer uh, to the entire process. We learned about the country. We learned about how to apply for the program, for the university. We learned about the importance of the application process and the deadline. And today we are coming close to documentation, the first and the first most important document, the statement of purpose. So it's a very important topic as it will help you to understand why statement of purpose is very important. It helps you to connect directly with the admission committee. But before I share all these things, you need to share this video with your friends, relatives, and your near and dear ones. Because this is a free webinar that I'm giving. It's a 37 days of live event, okay? It's one of the largest in the world that we are doing it, okay? Doing it for you, not for any other record. And if you are not sharing it, then probably, you know, you are not doing justice to yourself and to me. because. Uh, everything in this world is give and take. You can't just, you know, just receive and not give. Uh, because if you don't give, you will not receive more. So important is also about sharing, caring, which will teach to our children when they are in the school. And which somewhere down the line we forget. So share it with your friends, relatives, so that more and more people can get access to it. The more the people, the better I'm motivated to perform and do deliver this lecture. So let's go ahead now and uh, let me talk about Education Abroad Counseling Center, the company that does the study abroad counseling for all of uh, the students. So Education Abroad Counseling Center started in fact 2000. The objective, the vision was to educate the youth by providing them with study abroad career options worldwide our mission is to help 10 lakh high school and graduate students achieve career growth using free application technology. So this webinar that you see is one medium where we are trying to reach out. We are also reaching out to schools and colleges. Uh, we to my educational guide. So with all these different options, our objective is that we should meet this 10 lakh students that we want to do it for high schools and graduate who can go abroad for further studies. We have till date counseled basically 13,500. This is old number. Probably we must have now gone more than 14,500 now, 1,000 plus. Um, all major countries. So we do basically for US, UK, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Singapore, and any other country that you can think of. All levels starting from seventh grade to doctorate program. It includes your bachelor's, master's, MBA, postgraduate diploma, postgraduate certificate, and everything including your school and all major programs, mostly basically non-clinical programs and uh, non-professional programs. So other than this, we cover almost all programs and we provide guaranteed admission because of the pre-application process that we follow or we give total counseling fees refund. So that is education abroad counseling center for you. Uh, let's come to basically the power, the topic of today, power, of statement of purpose. Now, this is an important topic because as the word suggests, a power, okay? It has a lot of power, uh, power in a sense where you, admission committee wants to talk to you. It is not possible for each of you to send email. They will not be able to read. And even if you send email, what are you going to send? What are you going to type in that email? Everybody will not type the same thing. So how are they going to evaluate you on a single document, if they want to call or they want to have an interview, it is not possible to have interview with thousands of applications that the university receives each year. So how will the admission committee reach out to the students? So the document that is possible where the admission committee can know about the student, can reach out to student is statement of purpose. 
so that's why this document is important this document is very important because it tells the tells the admission committee who you are okay so it's a very important document and a lot of i guess thought process time effort energy has to be put while preparing this document most students don't put so much of efforts but if you put more efforts this document can cover some of the uh, problem that you have in your profile could be a low academics low or standardized test scores a lack of work experience or any other basically parameters that you may have be having so statement of purpose is a gap in your education backlogs you can explain it in your statement of purpose okay so what is statement of purpose now statement means essay essay purpose means future so the admission committee wants to know about your future it's a essay of purpose essay of future essay about your future okay it is also a marketing document to you to you where you are going to market yourself to the admission committee so you should know what are your marketing points your selling points so a statement of purpose is a essay it's a essay about you essay about your future it's a marketing document where you are going to sell yourself to the admission committee why you should be given admission now the statement of purpose is single most important part of the uh, your application that will tell the admission committee who you are it will tell about your personality so your statement of purpose should reflect that what has influenced your career path so far whatever you have done your academics your sports your extracurricular activities your professional interest what you want to be okay if you can define it well it tells the admission committee that you are a serious student and if they find you serious student then probably lot of those weaknesses that you have in your profile can be overlooked where you plan to go from here what are your short term long term goals what are your dreams and visions in life so all these things will be reflected in your statement of purpose why statement of purpose okay why because it's going to tell about yourself so what about your purpose purpose of you going to a particular country purpose of you going for a particular university purpose of you doing a particular program what what is it for you what, did you check the university website the program what is it for you what are your strengths what are your short term long term goals what are your dreams and visions in life your past profile your academics your extracurricular activities your research projects anything else that you have in your profile your work experience how you can relate it to the program that you are going to do so all those things you are going to mention in your statement of purpose so statement of purpose will basically give the university a look for is a mix of what the university looks is a mix of individuals that together form a well balanced class they are not looking for all engineers they are not looking for all mbas they are not looking for student from one country so they are looking for mix of individuals that together form a well balanced class so they are looking at different profiles because in abroad it's not only that you are going to learn from the professors you are going to learn from your peers and it is very important for the university to understand what type of students are coming so that there are a lot of sharing experiences that can be done for the students to learn from each other so your statement of purpose could have you know this could have several personality types can you reflect several personality types your such statement of purpose should show that you are creative you can think out of the box it can show that you are curious to learn more and that's why you are doing this particular program it has to show that you take pride in your work whatever you have done and what you want to do in future have enthusiasm for learning so whatever basically you have to show that you have quite enthusiasm for learning have capacity for team work you have worked with people and you have you know done work done well when you are working with people you are a leader or you have a good team skill have ability to think independently so you are able to think on your own you can make your decision on your own this is very important part of the education if you are going to study abroad because that is what they want they want you to develop your independent thinking 
So it is not necessary that it should reflect all these types. Whatever your type is, it should reflect your personality type. type. Why statement of purpose? So statement of purpose basically uh, because your academics or extracurricular records are in the past. So suppose you have not performed well in your academics. Okay, here is an opportunity for you to basically show that in spite of this low academic, you have a skill which is the reason why you want to study abroad. Whether basically you have performed in your project or in your practical work, or you have shown basically that off late in your last few semesters, you have done very well, or any other quality, your dreams and visions, your passion in life. You can mention it in your statement of purpose. Your GMAT, GRE, SAT, or TOEFL, or ILTS course can be adversely affected by condition of the test day. Let's take GMAT, GRE, SAT only, that standardized test course. So if suppose your GMAT is not good, your GRE scores are not good, your SAT, not. now on the test day, sometimes it so happens that it rains heavily. So you are basically, you know, not enough, basically, you know, you can't reach the test center on time or you, you basically, you are, you are wet or basically it was a bad day for you. You suddenly, basically, when you uh, start on the, there was some problem with the computer or there was some other problem, you forgot something, you have learned everything, but on the test day, you forgot everything. There could be various situations, it happens. It has happened with so many students. And then basically they feel that their scores are not reflecting what they are. So they give the GI, GMAT set again. So in case you don't want to do that, you can basically show it in your statement of purpose. It's a chance to talk directly to admission committee. So you are going to talk to the admission committee where you are going to sell yourself, highlight the things that you want in your life the purpose of you doing this program, your short-term, long-term goals, your dreams and visions in life. You're going to talk about your academics, your extracurricular activities, your, your projects, your, if you have taken part in sports, all these things can be mentioned in your statement of course, where you are directly talk to the admission committee and tell them, this is what I've done. You know, it, it, it could be basically, it, you can take it as an interview where you are directly communicating with the admission committee through a document. So when you're going to write it, the admission committee should feel that way. It can make yourself stand out from the thousands of applications that the university may receive. If a statement of purpose is good, the university admission committee will take note of it and will basically mark it that this is the application, this is a student that I want. So if there are any problems in your profile, he will try to check what problem and if he can suggest you some solution, how you can overcome that problem. It has happened. To convince the committee that you have the spark, the thirst for knowledge, and that you can add value to your class. Because it's not about basically, you know, about yourself, which I say basically, Okay, you that you want basically you have the no, you want knowledge you want to gain, but it's also about you adding value to the class, you sharing, you understanding, you know the need for teamwork to go to meet people to learn from others and to basically also share with others. So these are important part of the why statement of purpose. Now I had decided that I would only take one. But the fact is that statement of purpose is a very important document. Okay. It has so many things that you need to basically look at. So I then decided that it probably may not be able to, I won't be able to complete it in one presentation that I get for 20, 25 minutes. So I'm going to cover it in three parts. So you are getting that extra two more lectures on the statement of purpose. So I'll be having doing it on Monday as well as on Tuesday where I will cover a lot of the things that you can think what should be in the statement of purpose. Again, these are all pointers. These pointers are there for you to think. Okay. So whatever is relevant to you, you can take it and you can use it in your statement of purpose. 
understand very well that the university ranking is based on student. And if the university ranking is based on student, which could be student satisfaction, student employment, student graduation rate, and many other. So if it is based on student, then they are very important to know what type of student is going to join that particular program. And what type of student is going to join that particular program will the admission committee will know about it through statement of purpose. So this is the power of statement of purpose that I wanted to share in this particular lesson. And I hope I was able to make things clear for you. Why statement of purpose? What is statement of purpose? Why statement of purpose? And why it is important? On Monday, I'll be covering more topics on the statement of purpose, how it has to be written, what things you have, what are the uh, phobia that you have while writing statement of purpose, what are the myths that you have in while writing statement of purpose, and how to write statement of purpose. So that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed and uh, you had a good time. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to take. Uh, hello, sir. Good evening. Yes, Sohil, tell me. Yeah, sir, I just have a small uh, doubt. Uh, so if we have participated in any of the clubs or any club activities, are we supposed to provide a documentation, documentation proof along with SOP or it is fine to be right about the club and activities which were, which were involved? See, basically, if you have a documentary evidence or proof, it is good. If not, but if you are seriously done it, then also you can mention because statement of purpose will include a lot of voluntary services as well. Correct. So yeah. you have taken part in a NGO or you have yeah. worked for some basically for educating the poor during this pandemic or yes, basically yes. feeding the dogs basically you know in this pandemic because nobody was throwing food outside it mm -hmm. was locked down so any other thing you know taking care of the uh, old people who are basically uh, uh, stuck in the lockdown or any other thing that you have done you can mention it so for these things I can't give a proof that yeah. I had gone out and had given food to the dog who mm -hmm. will basically give that proof to sure. me? So that is fine. But if you can, if you have worked for some organizations, if you're going to mention it, if you have that evidence, it's good. If not, you can still write in your statement. So of are you supposed to attach it or are you just supposed to mention no, it? No, no, you don't have to attach anything. You have to just write and share your experience. Okay. It's not about writing. Okay. What you mm -hmm. have learned from it, how this has influenced you and motivated you to achieve more in your life. Okay. Yes, uh, my question is how long or how many words should the statement of purpose have? Very important, very important. Okay, it's normally around 550 words. It should be not more than five paragraphs and not more than 550 words. Okay, each paragraph should be on certain topics, certain things that you are going to share and uh, it was going to be more related to future. So whatever you're going to share, try to link it with future if possible so that they understand that this is the reason why you did it. Okay, if you can do that. If not, just share your experiences and how this has influenced you to become a better person, a better personality because that is what also your statement of purpose reflects. But uh, not more than 550 words. Some of them have word restrictions also. They will say that around 500 words. Some will say 750 words, but a 550 word is a reasonable one. Because the admission committee are very busy people. They are going to get thousands of applications. Now, it is very important if your statement of purpose is very good in terms of uh, they having no grammatical mistakes, no typo errors, and if, if, if it's in a very good story form, the probably admission committee may uh, read your document for five minutes. Otherwise, they will basically just have a glance, get a picture because they are reading so many documents, they'll get an idea. So they may not go in deep if your statement of purpose is not good. Yeah, so you want to ask again something? Yeah, I also want to ask that yeah, uh, go ahead. the format, that means uh, will it be like an essay format or will it be like a letter format? Like essay, format. The... essay format. There is no particular format in this, but it's an essay. Statement is essay. It's an essay format. Uh, you are free to write. If I give you the format, then it loses your value, what you want to share. So I, I normally allow students to write and we then basically try to check the document and see how it is written. Yes, any more? Yeah. 
Yes, sir. Another thing, as you said, like for example, if we do some volunteer work and feeding a dog or something, and let's say we take a picture, like photograph. Okay, so uh, can we uh, use uh, like in this SOP that I have attached the picture? You no, no. You can't attach a photograph. You can just share your experiences. If later on, basically, they have an interview, they will be reading your SOP. Then they will ask you certain things regarding that. If there is an interview, if the interview is part of the admission process, there will be seven, eight parameters. One of the parameters could be an interview. So they may ask you. So that is later on, but in your statement of purpose, you don't, you're not even supposed to attach any picture, nor any documents to show as a proof. But if you have a proof, it's good. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. So when you wanted to ask something, because I saw your hand, but I guess it's almost time up. Uh, if you don't have any questions, uh, TQQ. No, sir. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, fine. So thank you very much.